What is up guys, your boy Gio back at it again with a new video. So today, what's going down is we already received my bully tweeters, the new ones. So we are going to be redoing the TD panel. Right now we're removing the old one because one of my homies copped it. So we're going to go ahead and remove it and go drop off the other one. So let's go ahead and get this video started. No se tragó cualquier cosa. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take the TD panel. I found this one at the junkyard, and it's super hard to find them because it's rare to find a single cab at a junkyard. But there it is. We already removed my TD. You can see that it's no longer there. And um, so we're gonna be doing the two six and a halves that I have, the Rockwell Fosgate Pro Mids right here. And then these are the DS18. They're the bullets, but these are the neodymium bullets. These are a little bit different, which, check them out. These are them. So we're gonna be doing these two and those two. And um, these DS18 neodyniums, they're a little bit more expensive than the regular bullet tweeter. The regular bullet tweeter, you'll probably cop the pair for about, you'll probably get the pair for about, for the regular bullets. I think it's like 45, maybe 50 bucks. These are a little bit more expensive. You're looking at about like 130 for the pair. So those are neodyniums, but of course, like always, they are a little bit louder. And the difference, you just seen those. Let me show you all the other ones. So these are the other ones, guys. And the only reason I didn't do those on here is because they are a little bit longer and we don't want to have a problem with it hitting in the back. But yeah, that's the difference in, um, in those bullets. So there's a difference in, in price and then everything so they are a little bit louder a little bit bigger so we're gonna go ahead with the homie david we got my brother rolling with us so let's go ahead and head that way right now all right guys so i went ahead and placed in the td panel right now y'all can check it out right there um just to get the measurements exactly more or less where how he's gonna work with it um but yeah guys since i'm doing four four speakers it's, it's kind of hard to get it right in the middle like as far as in between the seats because it's too tight but I mean once it's pushed out a little bit it should work. So let's go ahead and right here with the homie David. He got some panels that he's working on as well. Here. Oh yeah. This goes off, yeah. So you, you make the hole like this size, right? Yeah. Yeah, well yeah, yeah. And then So basically the way it works is like you leave this mm -hmm. piece in the back, right? Or how? Yeah the muscle quita al de arriba. This is the little piece right here. Yeah, that one. So then you would you push this the, one all the way back? Or you make the hole the size of this, yeah. Yeah, so make the hole the size of that, and, and then, then you just top that on the top. Yeah, because it's going to go... And that's how it holds. And you it's going to go like through it, and then whatever holds like that. Okay. And you want them like that, or more in? No, just that, as long as you're just able to see that little... Oh, okay. The little tip. This is nice. What your on? These, the Rockford ones. Oh, the Fosgate? Yeah. And then it's right there right now, so if you want to kind of measure it. You don't have the box on the bottom right? Here. No, I don't have a box. <laughs> and, and more or less, uh, what the sign? Yeah, 17. About 17. About 17. Yeah, that's just tight right there. It's gonna have to come up forward, I'm pretty sure. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half? What? That would the be like exactly a twelve. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's como can this away. Right here, right there. Right there. Uh, this one like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Like I said, as long as it doesn't pass up here or down here, come out of the out of the line. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So more or less right here, right? Yeah. More or less right here. What line? This line? Yeah. This line, like que no, que no pase. Que no pase? Yeah. And then this line would be the the max. This no, this one oh, right here. One yeah. Okay, I'm asking for it to flow like even like if it's if it's worth it, you gotta say. Then it's straight here, straight, and then it kinda goes like that, right? Pa pa yeah. Alright guys, so there it is. Um he kinda measured it a little bit. No matter what, it's very hard to get just right in between the seats because of the fact being that there's so much limited space. So of course, I'm going to have to screw my seat up a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. We're going to get it done. There's my truck looking clean. So I'm slowly bringing back a little system just because I, I, I plan to do a big system, but when I do it, it is going to be some good money. It's not going to be your regular little system. But till we get to there, till we get to there, um, we're gonna do a little, a little small system. Piensan que ha sido fácil llegar al puesto que tengo, solo porque ven feria y no saben de dónde vengo. Cuánto he trabajado en tener lo que quiero. All right, guys. So we are finally home. We left the TV panel with the homie David, guys. Soon, um, I, I probably will be going to get some cinematics for when he's working on it. And then you see my truck back there. And then, once that goes down, I already removed my old TD panel. It is right there. Shout out to the homie that purchased it. Um, it's still a badass TD panel. It's been holding on for a long time, and it's already wrapped and everything. And, um, yeah, guys, so we, we'll probably be visiting him sometime during this week while he's working on it, so y'all can see the the process that happens when they're, when they're making a TD panel and shit. So, yeah, guys, y'all stay tuned for the end of the video to see how it's going to come out. Penas corta edad, pero yo he sido inteligente Haciendo movimientos con la gente en este ambiente Género What is up guys, so today we're finally going to pick up my TD panel It is already ready um, But first, we got, we're in the daily, the Nissan Rogue Fucking, I believe the tire got an A or something I gotta go get that fixed first So let's go get that fixed Once we fix that, we'll head to the homie David and um, the TD panel is already ready guys so y'all stay tuned for the end of the video to check out how it comes out all right guys so we just got finished um getting the tire fixed now we're here with the homie david guys um and today i've been on a little busy schedule you know most of the time i don't really like doing too much shit before work but sometimes i mean it just happens but today guys um we just finished filming my sister-in-law's what's it called the drop vlog by now that should be out y'all y'all probably already seen it but yeah guys so let's go ahead and check out the td panel check out how it came out then we're gonna hit a bromo's upholstery hopefully drop everything off this friday so we can get that going oh yeah this shit came out hella sick check it out guys Gee, that was hella clean no lie that bitch just came out right on the spot no lie yep you can adjust this lower and then guys remember I don't know if y'all remember at the beginning of the vlog, I told him to shave off the little line that was right here. So he went ahead and shaved it off. Either way, you're not able to see it because this goes behind the seat. But there it is, guys. The TD's done. Now it's time to just get it wrapped and, and get everything installed with the pillars. Alright, guys. So there it is. Super bodywork, super clean. It's just time to go get it wrapped. So let's go ahead and hit up Roma's upholstery to see if he has a, an open spot already this weekend so we could drop it off. All right, what is up, guys? So today is um, Friday. Right now, we're headed to Rumble's Upholstery to drop off my TD panel and the pillars. So let's go ahead and head that way right now. And once we get there, we'll see what goes down. Si le puedo poner stitching aquí alrededor del este? De ese lado. Ajá. Y esto sí lo se puede hacer nomás one piece. Yeah, 
gente alegra nada Con mucho billete yo también quería No me quedaba All right guys, so here we are. Unfortunately, it's raining as you can see my hair is all wet and shit. But here we are in the garage where um, we have everything. So let me show you the titty panel, the little stuff, how it's gonna look once we throw it in, guys. And unfortunately, you're probably gonna get mad, guys, but I'm not gonna be throwing it in just yet. What? What the fuck? Due to the fact that it's raining and I'm also waiting on a special wire so I could run on all my vocal. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so right here's the titty panel. As y'all can see, I went with this design. I got my phone because it's kind of dark in here. But um, check it out. We gave it that little extra touch. We ran some stitching, guys, just so it can match my seats. But there it is, looking super clean. There are the pillars fully wrapped. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is the seating panel that's gonna be going in there. Remember, two six and a halfs and two bullet tweeters, and then two one bullet tweeter for each um for each pillar. All right, guys, and then this design right here was a little design that I came up with, as y'all can see, just like like that, and they just come in right there. And then it was a little bit tight to get it in here, but we were able to get it due to the fact that, you know, you want to try to get it as best as possible in between the seats. But yeah, guys, that right there, that's my TD panel. That's what's going to be going inside the truck. And then it's already wrapped in the same color as my interior. Like I said, we did the little extra stitching. You know, we always want to be a little bit different than everybody. We want to we want to give it as much detail as we can, you know, just stand out, something to give it that extra touch. And that's what we did on the TD panel. We weren't going to do the stitching on the on the pillars, but you know what? We decided, nah, I think it's better just to do them like that, clean and simple. And then, guys, so big, big shout out to the homie David. He's the one that did the TD panel for me. Him and Roma's upholstery, you know, for always, always getting down on the work. Um, as far as the homie David, I do know that he has some work right now. So if you hit him up, you probably won't be able to get you in front. And for sure, we do know that Roma's upholstery, he is booked maybe for like the rest of this month and the other month. And the reason why I know that is because the reason why I know that, guys, um, that the that Roma's upholstery is booked is because we have the door panels here, guys. Uh, you know, there were little imperfections here and there. We took them back to homie David. Thanks to him He was able to fix them and everything that they're, they're ready to go I took him back to Rome's upholstery showed him This is what you what you're gonna be wrapping and he's like perfect everything came out good But due to his waiting list, we don't have he doesn't have time to wrap it until next month So most likely the beginning of next month that will be going down But what is gonna be going down soon is the suede headliner on the OBS Tahoe once we get that headliner in we're basically gonna be able to get everything in. And y'all know what that is right there, right? That's another TD panel, guys. I'll probably be doing one, maybe doing a little raffle, something going on, but for sure I copped it just to have it there. All right, guys, and right now, I'm just gonna be showing y'all how it's gonna look once we sit it inside the truck. We're just gonna put it against the wall. I'm not gonna be leaving the speakers on there because the speakers are heavy and I don't have them bolted on. So if I just put it on like that for now, they will fall, but let's just go ahead and mount it up so y'all can see how it's gonna look. All right, guys, so let's go ahead, check it out inside the truck. I mounted it up right now, and then I made sure that the speakers, when I put them through, that um, they don't hit the back the back wall. So I checked that out, and everything came out good. Let me show it to y'all real quick how it looks once it's placed in there. All right, guys, so there it is. The two six and a halfs, and then the two bullet tweeters. And then, like I said, you know, since, it, since it's um, four speakers, it is a little bit harder to get in there. But... Overall, it came out good. It came out sick. You can see the stitching right there. Of course, right now it looks weird because the speakers aren't in there. But it came out super clean, guys. And then I don't have it mocked up over there. Over here, I just clamped it up once. The reason why, why I haven't mocked it up good, good, is because if y'all know, when you're starting a TD panel, the fucking clips tend to break. And I don't want the clips to break because this one still has all the clips. And the more clips there is, the better, so it can hold on, you know, sturdier. But yeah, guys, that's how it's going to sit once it's in there. And then the pillars too. Let me show you a little demonstration to see how it's gonna look once they're plugged up. All right guys, and then this one, this one right here, this is the, the pillar, how it's gonna sit. As you can see, it's kind of dark, right? It's hard to see right now because of the light. But that's how it's gonna sit, and then this wire belongs to this old one. This is the regular stock one. But this is it, this is how the pillar's gonna be. Hopefully you can kind of see it more or less. And then it's already all wrapped, guys. So that's how the pillars are gonna sit. 
All right, guys, so y'all finally got to see the TD panel. Y'all finally got to see the pillars, guys. Unfortunately, like I said, we're not installing them in this vlog. But once we get that going, I'll be dropping the vlog once they're installed. Um, I am going to be doing a little sub, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, but yeah, guys, so we're trying to get this stuff done right before, hopefully, Texas Heat Wave. So if anything, most likely, if everything goes good, I will be at Texas Heat Wave out there in Tater, Texas, guys. So uh, that's mainly what we got going on right now for my truck. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all think about the TD panel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, guys, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that bell notification to know whenever I drop a vlog. And this is it, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Big, big, big shout out to the homie Romo's Upholstery and also the homie David. You know, like always, they're always kidding it, guys. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog. It's your boy Gio, and I'm out.